Good evening and welcome to the Australian countryside. Today we are in Mary Valley of Queensland and this is what my quiet little day may look like. Firstly I have to get up and see to the animals, these little fur babies and crawl out of bed and let them get some time outside quite quickly and they always need Lots of loving as well, very demanding for my attention, but I can't really complain. I've got this little cat as well to look after. Both very, very sweet little babies and they've got a nice big, big garden and a very nice sunny morning to explore outside and enjoy. I start my own day with an extra strong Tetley cup of tea. I prefer Yorkshire tea, I've always said this, in Australia the Yorkshire tea is very mild and this is the strongest tea bag I can find for English breakfast so please don't judge me I need the strongest tea I can find <laughs> so yeah I have a cup of tea probably my first of many of the day get myself cleaned up I am going to be going out today so I need a good meal of some toast buttered toast is pretty much my everyday breakfast to be honest I love bread first thing because I always feel super hungry don't know about anyone else and I like to eat this on the veranda but this little kitty here is very jealous and she seems to love toast and crisps and is always begging I've never actually known a cat to beg for my food so much in my life I do some basic skincare and some SPF I'm always wearing sun cream of course because I do find it makes a massive difference because I've got no tan at all on my face my whole time abroad and I you know sort my hair out as best as I can get it put out of the way because it's just so hot I need it out of my face where possible for makeup I keep it quite simple to concealer maybe just some brows all the basics really because I can't go too heavy with it being so so hot outside it does just all come off and it feels really uncomfortable but I also will be doing some work today, some filming so I may as well just start the day with my makeup on and start as I mean to go on I always like a nice mild eyeshadow um, I've not got many colours left in my palette I've been abroad for six months and I can't afford to buy lots of different makeup so I'm just sticking basic bronzy colours, mascara and yeah these are my lipsticks I've only got like three left and I just keep circulating all of the pink colours that I have this one's called Ginger Rose and in the supermarket I found this clear gloss which I really like I always love lip gloss I think it adds a really nice finished look to the lip and yeah I've been living without it for a long time so quite pleased with how it turned out and I'm just wearing a nice basic little outfit, nothing too special. Just a nice white skirt that I bought in Kmart, Kmart Australia for four Australian dollars. And I'm on my way driving through the Mary Valley to find a Hungry Jacks for lunch and to do a little bit of shopping. And the clouds appear to be rolling in, which is good news for me as in it's a little bit cooler not such good news for filming later but first things first I need a big lunch I like Hungry Jacks so much I've had a good 30 Hungry Jacks in my time in Australia and a nice big diet coke and I can never actually finish my burger I always take it with me and now I'm going to the local market to get some fruit and vegetables for my meals. So I've come into Farmer and Son and they've got lots of really fun stuff. They've got loads of colour veg, spices, treats, everything really. And there's nothing more endearing than all the colours of vegetables and fruit in front of you. You just want to buy absolutely everything. But I can't afford to get things that I don't need so I'm just keeping it 
to a few little bits and I did treat myself to some frozen yoghurt because it was dairy free and I was really really excited by that idea. <laughs> now en route home I like to just open all the windows mostly because my car has no air conditioning so it's the only way I can feel even a little bit cool. Driving around the country in this car has been very sweaty for eight weeks now. But never mind, um, soon I'll be back in the cold, so I really shouldn't complain. Um, the landscape is very much like English countryside in a little way, except it's more spaced out. So I just stop at the top of a hill to take in the view and really have a better look and maybe get a couple of photos. I find myself trying to take as many photos as possible because it's nearing the end of my journey. I bought this dress today. It's kind of a cinematic style dress for videos and content. It's certainly not my daily wear. It's very nice, but obviously it's a little bit on the bridal side and it's very heavy. Um, but this place has a coffee machine, so I am going to make a nice coffee with frothed, frothed milk. So it's going to be a nice little latte. So I need a reading break at least two or three times a day. And in the house I've found this beautiful old copy of all Jane Austen's books. So having a nice reread of Pride and Prejudice while I drink my beautiful coffee is not a bad way to enjoy my afternoon, I can't lie. There's this little reading nook so I can see out the window, enjoy the sights of nature, looking in. And yeah, it's just overall really, really pleasant. I can't complain at all about my life as a traveller. It's brilliant. So let me consider reading you a little paragraph of Pride and Prejudice. It is my favourite book and movie adapta adaptation of all time. I really don't think there's another story as beautiful as this and I'd love nothing more than to be able to share it with you if you have two minutes to quickly listen. And what has been done? What has been attempted to recover her? My father is gone to London and Jane has written to beg my uncle's immediate assistance and we shall be off, I hope, in half an hour. But nothing can be done. I know very well that nothing can be done. How is such a man to be worked on? How are they even to be discovered? I have not the smallest hope. It is in every way horrible. Darcy shook his head in silent acquiescence. When my eyes were open to his real character, oh, had I known what I ought, what I dared to do, but I knew not. I was afraid of doing too much. Wretched, wretched mistake. Darcy made no answer. He seemed scarcely to hear her, and was walking up and down the room in earnest meditation, his brow contracted, his air gloomy. Elizabeth soon observed and instantly understood it. Her power was sinking. Everything must sink under such proof of family weakness. Such assurance of the deepest disgrace. Just the briefest extract from the drama of Pride and Prejudice. Definitely give it a read if you haven't already. Now the afternoon is upon us. I must do some work. So I'm preparing myself to go outside and film. I really don't want to always spend my afternoons working, but this is kind of like a content retreat for me, like a bit of a writer's retreat. So I get myself ready and out there, lay my blanket on the ground, and I have to travel all my props outside, but the views and the nature really are beautiful. And I always take time to admire my surroundings and realise how incredibly lucky I am. And I've got this beautiful little heart necklace on which I really love. But the flowers are so beautiful at the end of summer. We are now into Australian autumn. But it certainly didn't feel quite like autumn. I take a little bit of a stroll down the lawn to my picnic blanket, which is the spot I'm going to be filming in. I have some flowers, which of course I've using a little prop for my garden spa videos coming out very soon. I hope you like them. <laughs> I 
and the rain has begun, which means my filming day has to be cancelled. I try to shoot a couple of little videos in the rain. Rain sounds are quite nice, after all, but not nice enough, I'm afraid. They are too troublesome and create too much noise in ASMR. Filming outside in ASMR videos is really difficult. You're at the will of nature, neighbours and everything else. But I do appreciate lovely rainfall as it makes me think of home, of which I was desperately wishing I was. But I get to play with these beautiful animals in the rain and just enjoy the freedom that comes with being a full-time traveller. It is a nice feeling, I must admit, when I get over my anxieties. I do like the fact that I can just kind of be anywhere I want and I don't have to answer to anybody. I have no responsibilities really outside of myself. So it is a lot to get used to. <laughs> so I retreat inside and think about cooking dinner soon. Although this day looks very quick, it's actually moving very slowly. I do need to walk the dog at some point, but if I know Australia, the rain passes quite quickly at times and it's only about 3 or 4pm. i still got a few hours till the sunset and I really wanted to take you on a sunset walk. So I think I'll just wait an hour or so, have some dinner. Now, I'm vegan. I eat a lot of... Well, I like to say I eat a lot of vegetables, but it's not quite true. <laughs> but while I have a kitchen to hand, I am going to eat lots of vegetables and just have a simple pasta dish. This is just something I like. I like to feel full. I like to eat lots of carbs. I'm not going to let myself feel bad about loving eating carbs. I used to always worry about feeling bloated and things, but all I care about now is being happy. So sausage vegetable pasta for me uh, perfectly enjoyable and i'll sit on the couch and enjoy this meal before a nice game of scrabble i'm playing about three games a night at the moment which is very fun and very testing and i'm trying desperately not to cheat even though it's extremely tempting <laughs> now i have to confess that the weather didn't actually clean up at all and I filmed this the following day because I desperately wanted to take you on a sunset walk around the valley because it's just so beautiful. So I'm so sorry, but grey skies were not the one for a lovely dog walk. So this is the surrounding area, beautiful trees and greenery. And the sky is like I've never seen before in the world. It's like a crack deck and the sun going down is just like the yolk dribbling. It's seriously beautiful. Now, me and this beautiful pooch are just running around the fields, enjoying nature, and it's always my favourite part of the day. I'm naturally quite lazy, so it's easy for me to get bogged down and just prefer to be indoors. But I actually forget every single day how much I enjoy a dog walk. And I just don't like to get all sticky and hot, so that's why I avoid going. There really is no need, because it's always a lot of fun, and as you can see, the dog is very kind and loving. The sky is beautiful, of course, but I have seen way more impressive sun sunsets in Australia. They are the most beautiful I've seen in the whole world. And this area here has beautiful little farm stalls just on the side of the road where you can put like money in an honesty box and just take some jam or limes. I mean, how beautiful and cute is that? I've never seen anything like that in my life. I just think it's gorgeous. So... I mean, this doggy are just going to keep wandering until he gets tired. He's a bit of an older boy, so he doesn't like to go for too long. And, you know, I like to get back to my Scrabble games, so we have that in common. We only go on for a little bit longer because I just want to see the sky go down. It's my last night in the Mary Valley, so I'm deeply sad, but also quite relieved to go back to the city as I move on to Sydney from here. It is beautiful. The buildings here are lovely. Um, there's lots of bungalows in Australia, but some of these like little farmhouses just seem such sweet and my kind of style. You know, I like cottagecore life. <laughs> so thank you for watching a beautiful quiet day in the Australian countryside. My name is Sam and I am a full-time traveller for a little bit longer.
and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a lovely relaxed evening. Good night.